and welcome back to the channel on this video as you see I have the Rad Rover out and I have the Lyric Graffiti out and I'm going to do a little talk about seats on this video e-bike seats and comparing the two styles so first let's look at the Lyric Graffiti so it's got the it's a moped style e-bike and it has the long bench seat as you can see right there and then it has the upper part here is for a second rider um, so when I sit on this bike I sit right here at the back I probably wish there was a little more room I'd go another inch or so back or maybe two inches sit back but um, if I sit back this far it's too far for me so uh but i'm okay with it uh, sitting up here but for somebody that's taller i'm five foot nine so somebody who's say six feet or six foot one or more they tend to sit back here so i wish it was like this or this either way all the way so that um somebody can uh, sit according to their height because this particular seat as you can see is not adjustable so you get what you get so that's the downside about the moped style bikes is that you can't adjust the seat um, but it is a very comfortable seat I gotta say that so and then you come over here to the Rad Rover and you see the single seat there and it does have an adjustment um, and I'll show you right over here so we've got the lever right here and so all you do is pull that out and then you can adjust your seat to whatever height you want it, it actually goes up quite a bit here um, you don't want to pull it obviously all the way out you need a little bit a few inches well it says right there actually so minimum is right there 350 millimeters or 27 point two inches so that's the maximum you want to pull it up but that's a lot that's a lot and then you can just lock it in right here and so there's the maximum seat look at that seat height so if you're a taller rider you can get it pretty tall there you can get the seat to adjusted pretty high I don't like it like that first of all I'm not that tall and secondly I want my feet to be able to uh, touch the ground I know a lot of people have their own way you know the uh, how high they want the seat or low but um, I like to be able to get my feet down the ground I feel like I have more control but that's just me you know um, but at least my toes you know I want to be able to touch my tippy toes on the ground uh, to have some kind of control but um, you want to be able to also stretch your legs out if you're pedaling so that's the advantage to this bike over the Lyric Graffiti which I don't really pedal this bike though it's more of a throttle for me but um, that's why the bench seat is good in that way that we can sit back or forward depending on our height this bike I believe it's 31 inches at here and it's probably a, a good inch or, or a little more there on the back but um, these are just two uh, styles of uh, e-bike seats. And um, I think that having the uh, seat like the Lurk Graffiti here does deter some people from buying this style of bike just simply because the seat's not adjustable. Um, but uh, I think that's why if this was all flat right across... I think it'd be better because we can just sit forward or back according to our height but all right well we're gonna go for a ride and talk a little bit more on the lyric graffiti so now we're on the Lyric Graffiti for a little ride around. I want to talk a little more about e-bike seats. So there's a bike 
that I saw uh, a little while back, uh, some months, a uh, few months back, that I thought was great, a great idea where it had a, it was a cafe or um, scrambler style, moped style bike like this one. And it had on it a hydraulic lift where you could raise it up or down and just a, by the push of a button. And I really like that idea, but I can't remember the make of the bike or anything. If anybody out there does know of this bike or a bike that does that, let me know in the comments because I think that's a cool idea, but I don't know how uh, costly that would be or anything, but uh, it's kind of neat to be able to adjust the seat. I don't know how far it can be adjusted, but I do like the idea of doing that. Missing my turn. I wanted to turn here. But the two seats that I showed you on this bike and the Rad Rover are just two examples. There's other styles of seats, but for this style of bike, this is the common, the long bench seat is the most common. And then on the Rad Rover or more of a traditional bike, you get the single seat like that. Now the Rad Rover there, I don't have a lot of complaints about that bike. It's a nice bike. But the uh, one thing I do not like on it is that seat. It's rather on the hard side. And, I mean, it doesn't help the fact that it's a hardtail bike, but um, the seat is a little bit on the hard side, but I've never uh, swapped it out. I've just kept the same seat. I just uh, today as well, I checked the uh, mileage on my Rad Rover. It's only got 804 miles on it. But the seat on this Lyric Graffiti is really nice. Like I said though earlier, I would like to sit just a little bit further back, probably a couple of inches, um, but it has that lip on it where it raises up and I can't sit halfway on that. You know, you're either all or nothing kind of deal. So I just sit right just before that lip. And, uh, but it's comfortable. And if you're much taller than I am, and like I say, I'm at five foot nine, if you're 5'11", six feet, or a little over six feet or more, you're gonna wanna sit back farther on this bike. And, and like I said though, I don't really pedal this bike, so as far as legs being cramped or anything like that, it doesn't matter because I just have my feet on the, on the pedals and I don't pedal on this bike, so. To me, this bike is more like a moped or motorcycle. The best bike that I have for pedaling is the one, uh, the Rad Rover. The other uh, thing I said, I had a couple of things I didn't like about the Rad Rover. It's a really nice bike, another smooth ride. For a hub, geared hub motor, it's pretty quiet as well. Not as loud as the uh, it's not as loud as the uh, Grizzly. Look who's there. Look who just passed me. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run him down here. David, we're How filming. Doing, we're talking about seats. Yeah. Speaking of seats, there's your seat right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I'm just doing a video on seats. There's All my right. wife. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let me uh, hang on a second here. 
How you doing, man? You shooting a video right now? Right on. I'll cut it. All right, we were sidetracked just a little bit there. My buddy David and his wife met up with them for just a minute. They were out riding. And we're going to get David back on the channel very shortly here again. So yeah, seats are uh, a pretty important part of uh, e-bikes because we use them all the time, the whole ride, we're sitting down, so it is important to have a nice comfortable ride. I'll let this car pass me because I want to turn here. Wow, beautiful day and I don't see nobody golfing. I'm not a golfer, so I'd rather ride my e-bike. Either that or I'd rather get up a game of street hockey all right well if you've got any comments on seats or like i say if you know of a hydraulic seat that lifts up and down for this style of bike moped scrambler let me know because i don't remember that one particular bike i don't know there may be others that have that but I thought, wow, what a great idea that is, and now I've totally forgotten. It's been too long now since uh, I saw that bike. But I do like that idea quite a bit. I think that's one of the most common things on e-bikes that people swap out is their seat. Handlebars and seats are, I think seats might be number one actually. Like I mean immediately, some people, they, they don't even wait, I mean Another one is uh, headlight. That's another common one that gets changed out quite a bit, but... Well, that's going to do it for... this video on the channel. Like I said, if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video here on the channel, just go ahead and leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much for doing that. Hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, take care.